Alrighty, in this quick recording I'm going to show how to use CMake um, to quickly run Google unit tests from the Visual Studio Developer uh, PowerShell directly from the command line. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to look for my developer tools here, um, where are they? Visual Studio, and then I have my developer PowerShell for Visual Studio. And if I go up a couple directories, I created this CSC232, and I cloned my Lab1 repo here. And so if I look here, this is straight out of the box. Uh, after I cloned it, I'm on the trunk branch. Uh, regardless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use CMake uh, right here from this directory. So, uh, sure, I'm going to use CMake s. That's this, the location of the CMake list text file. It's right here in the current directory, so period. Dash B, I want to create a build folder for this. And in this case, the generator I want to use is uh, the generator used to make and make make files. So it's detecting my Visual Studio compiler and checking other um, components that it needs to do its work. If you recall from Lab 0B, I believe it was, we initially started toying around with the Visual Studio command line tool set. And if you recall, nmake was their equivalent of make. And so the make files we're creating are, u are for use with nmake in this case. And again, key here is that I'm running this from the, um, from the developer PowerShell for Visual Studio. Uh, what this shell does is it... Um, creates a bunch of, um, it updates the path of environment variables so that it knows where all these development tools are um, and I don't have to specify a long path to run them. If you did this just straight from a PowerShell, odds are these commands won't work. So make sure you're doing this from the developer PowerShell for Visual Studio and then whatever version of Visual Studio that you have. Okay, so now if I look here, we'll notice that it has in fact created a build directory. Uh, still from the root of my repository, I'm going to run cmake dash dash build, and I'm going to tell it where the build directory is. And so what I'm doing here is I'm using cmake to build my targets at this point. Excuse the barking dog in the background. So again, this is right out of the box. I haven't created a new target for working with the arrays.cpp file that you're instructed to do in this lab. This is just creating the three targets, uh, the lab01 de uh, lab demo and lab01 tests. And we're going to use ctest to run the Google unit tests whenever they're supplied. Okay, so all the targets have been built. And so now I'm actually going to go into my build directory, and I'm just going to run ctest. And there you go. If I have Google unit tests set up, and this is just a dummy one that I have set up uh, to demonstrate this stuff, uh, you can see that it's uh, run one test, uh, zero tests failed out of those one tests that it ran, and so life is good, at least if this were a real thing. So anyways, we can go back up, and now we are all done. Now what's interesting here is that we can also use other generators, and I'll show that in another video. Okay, we're going to run this one more time with a different generator. So, in this case, uh, I'm going to put it in a different folder. Let's call this solution, because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a Visual Studio 17, uh, Visual Studio 2022. A solution here so uh, we'll have it, the build folder be a different location 
uh, called SLN for solution. And the generator that we're going to use here is Visual Studio version 17 2022. This assumes, of course, that you have this installed on your computer. And we don't have that. So I believe I have version 16, and that's 2019. Okay, so let's delete this uh, SLN folder that got created and try that again. Okay, so there we go. I've got 2019 installed on this machine. I have 2022 installed at school. So now uh, a new folder is going to be called, created called SLN and it's going to contain a Visual Studio um, solution that I can open up in Visual Studio. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to fire up Visual Studio. It's all done before I try to open anything. I should download the Jeopardy theme song. I think it's called Teapot. And just start playing that when I'm waiting for my very slow computer to do its thing. Alright, so now there's a solution there apparently. So let's open that up. So open a project or solution. And this is located. In my CSC232 folder, Lab 1 SLN, and there's my Lab 1 solution. So I'll open that up. see here all kinds of targets set up for us. And specifically what I want to do is I want to work with the Lab01 tests target. So I'm going to right click on this and choose build. succeeded and now I'll go ahead and run this Debug, sorry, start new instance. And there I can see the output. And I'll just press any key to close this window. And life looks good.
CMake. It's a very powerful tool. You can also check out in the uh, Xcode channel how I use that to generate Xcode projects.